In this example, we're given f of x equals 4 rad x minus x, and we're asked to find all points such that the tangent line is horizontal. Well, there's a few key things to remember here. The first is that the slope of the tangent line at a point is given by the derivative at that point. Now, this example wants us to find the points where the tangent line is horizontal. Well, what's the slope of a horizontal line? Right, it's zero. So this tells us we're looking for the places where m tan equals zero. That is, we're looking for places where the derivative is zero. So let's take the derivative of this, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. Well, we're going to need the power rule here. Remember that the power rule tells us that when we're taking the derivative of x to the n, we bring that n down to the front and then subtract 1. And remember that if we're dealing with radicals, we want to write those in exponential notation, so using rational exponents here. So I'm going to change this function first to be f of x, I'm not really changing it, just rewriting it I guess, equals 4x to the 1 half minus x. Okay, then we can quickly take the derivative. f prime of x is, okay, so 4, I'm bringing down the 1 half, 4 times 1 half is 2, x to the negative 1 half, and then minus 1, the derivative of x is always 1. y, well, x to the 1, bring down the 1, subtract 1, we get 1x to the 0, which is simply 1. Then, of course, the negative is just hanging on for the ride here. And since we want this horizontal tangent line, we're going to set this whole thing equal to 0. And this is a process we'll do again and again in calculus. Right, because we are very, very interested in finding places where the tangent line is horizontal. Why? Well, imagine some function, right? Every time we have a max or a min, we have a horizontal tangent line. And we are hugely interested in finding maxes and mins of things because that tells us the most important information about a function. So this is a process we'll become very used to. Okay, let's solve this thing out. Um, I'm going to write this as 2 over x to the 1 half. Um, equals 1, so multiply up, right, we're just doing some algebra here, x, 2 equals x to the 1 half, square both sides, that gives us x equals 4. Okay, so this tells us we have one point with a horizontal tangent line, that point is at x equals 4, but that's not really a point yet. A point has an x and a y value, so we're halfway there, I'd say we're more than halfway there, but we still need to plug in where? Do we plug into the derivative or into the original function? And this is a common place where people make mistakes. If you want the y value, always plug in to the original function. I'll say it again. If you, if you have x and you want the y value for a corresponding point, you need to plug into the original function. Okay, well we can do that. So we take f of 4 is simply 4 times rad 4 minus 4. So 4 times, rat, well, rad 4 is 2, so it's 2 times 4 is 8, minus 4 equals 4. So our final answer is the ordered pair, 4, comma, 4. Let's take a quick look at this on Desmos and interpret this result. Okay, so here I've plotted the function in red, and you can see that indeed at x equals 4, it goes, it's going up from 0 to 4, and then it stops and turns around, giving us that horizontal tangent line at the point x equals 4, or more specifically, the point 4, comma 4. There we go. We can even put that point in there. And then I've also drawn in the horizontal tangent line, which turns out to be the line y equals 4. Um, so we can see how that looks. So everything checks out.